Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and uh, Taurus Rising weekly tarot reading for June 10th to June 16th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we can jump straight away into the spread. Okay, so the first card which represents the topic for Taurus week, that is to be the uh, King of Cups, followed by the second one which stands for the challenges Taurus needs to overcome for throughout the week, that is to be the Four of Swords. Third card stands for the uh, positive aspect of the week, and we have the Emperor. And the last card, which is the Guidance from uh, Taro for you guys, that is to be the Seven of Cups. So once again, King of Cups is going to be the topic of the week for you, followed by the challenges that you need to overcome, that is the Four of Swords. Further than that, it's uh, the Emperor, which stands for the positive aspect. And the last one, we have the Eight, the Seven of Cups, excuse me, which is the guidance that Tsar is offering to you. All right, so uh, Taurus, <clears throat> Like Aries, we are to have a, a person here who will either help you tremendously with something or is going to offer you a, or is going to address you with a, a very tempting offer. Unlike Aries, this thing is uh, completely unbiased and completely for free. Okay, So um, you can consider yourself, I would say... Well, yeah, you know, more favorable. I don't know how to say it because it has a downside as well. But we're going to go there into a minute. But the thing here, guys, is that this week you can really kind of grasp upon your life and uh, set, it in, set it in order in uh, whatever, you know, field you are experiencing a bit of a havoc, either career or relationship-wise, it doesn't matter. But the uh, first card, which is the topic, that is to be the uh, King of Cups. So this is a, a very, very experienced person uh, who is capable as well with, uh, on or he's, yeah, okay, so that person is capable of a deep feelings. Now, usually when they make a decision, it is very well balanced and thoroughly researched. And what that person does is one of the following things. Like I said, either they're going to help you or they will want to help you with something. And in this case, there is no need for you to turn off a, a helping hand or they will address you with, with a, a very, very tempting offer, offer that it, there is no reason for you to deny. The accompanied card that is to be the Ten of Cups and, um, well, it doesn't get any better than that. Because either in career or either in relationship manifestation, with the Ten of Cups to the King of Cups, most definitely we do have a, a huge resolution to current issues that you are may facing. And as well with the appearance of that person, your life 
all of a sudden or, or slowly progressing will start worth living again. That is one of the best interpretation of the Ten of Cups. For the reason being is that you are to feel like you are in the middle of a sanctuary, all right, of a safe haven, that you are protected by everything as this person steps in. They will, that could be your lawyer protecting you, you know, from a certain demands of your wife or husband that are going through a divorce, you know, and they just trying to put you on the, on the, um, on a negative position, but your lawyer withstands that. That could be the person you needed to form a relationship with, which they will, you know, make you that tempting offer. And with them, you can really build up that emotional connection, you know, or it could be the new employer who offers you a pretty well done job that kind of like, uh, makes your financial situation, um, escalating in a sense of, you know, improving, um, substantially, which makes your life all of a sudden or slowly progressing, you know, start worth living again. Now, the challenges that you need to face here, that is to be the four of swords. And I can't really find a good way to fit this card into the reading. That is for the reason being, it is a very trifling one. So the four of swords here only tells us that uh, you may uh, do one of the following, you may overthink it and you may try to find a, a guidance from someone as a faithful companion of yours to reassure you, you know, that taking either the, the help or the tempting offer, it is the right thing to do. Or the other way of interpreting the card as a challenge is that it's going to be way too much for you in the sense of activity, because maybe you are overburdened right now, you're trying to manage everything in your life, and suddenly this additional offer comes around and you just feel exhausted to take it. But nonetheless, you got to push yourself a bit to the outer limit because it's really something that rather worth it. it, it even if it, even if you have to kind of like put something on halt so you can take advantage of this offer or help, it will really, really worth it. The accompanied card that is going to be the uh, tower card. So the formation that we do have, it is in an active uh, friend. And uh, yeah, it's we're talking about hyperactivity here because the offer is going to be very sudden. I should have said that to you at the start of the reading. Uh, I forgot basically because when I saw the card, the cards, it's just a sudden a um, or a very spontaneous offer or a uh, yeah addressing of a uh, offer or a offering a help so because it's going to be very sudden it's going to cut you uh, cut you off guard unprepared and you may doubt in yourself that you can actually have time for it or uh, that you know you can take full advantage of it nonetheless so uh, what is advisable here uh, with these uh, couple of cards the tower and the four of swords is to use the situation to build up a, a field or area in your life which does not exist for one or another reason, which existed back in the days but is no longer in present. For example, if you are single, there is a, a pretty good chance. I would, I don't want to say 100%, but let's say 98%. That, that thing, even if it is a business thing, can develop into a, a romantic partnership as well. So uh, that the whole the whole endeavor with this person is going to be addressed to rebuilding and a feel that is feeling most fragile in your life. Um, that being said, now another thing comes to my mind by looking at these couple of cards as a challenge. And the thing is that you may be afraid to try it because you don't want to fail again. Okay. And nonetheless, as a challenge, this needs to be overcome either your fear, you know, or the lack of rest. Also, it's you, you just need to push yourself a little bit more. Now, the um, the guidance, not the guidance, excuse me, but the positive uh, aspect of uh, this week, it is the, the Emperor card. And as at the start, I said that you are going to have the grasp or you will have the, well, you will take on the grasp of your life and make it much more structure, structured and as well much more in control. You will be much more in control. And that is for the reason being that this person appears uh, into your life and either helps you with something or offers you something, you know, as a um, opportunity. 
So with this additional help or with this additional circumstances which came out of nowhere, uh, that will actually allow you to start figuring out a lot of um, a lot of question marks that you do have for yourself. For example, how I'm gonna pay my rent, you know, uh, how I'm going to sustain myself uh, in the next couple of months. Am I going to be single for a long time and these kind of stuff. So now you are going to know, you know, how things are to develop and how you sit in the grand scheme of things as well. The thing is that uh, with the appearance of this person, your ups, your, um, how do you say it? Um, ups and downs on daily basis are going to become much more foreseeable and much more, um, not predictable, but uh, bearable, uh, to say the least. And as well, uh, when the, the emperor sits into a positive position, it also points that you will have some time to enjoy yourself, mainly with, uh, with this person as well. So uh, the accompanied card here, that is going to be the tree of uh, wands. And the formation it is in an active supporters that we do have here. So the structure and the control Thanks to this person, to the appearance of this person, their help or their um, uh, their offer uh, will allow you to establish a very solid positions, very big or kind of like solid structure beneath your feet, a, a position that uh, will allow you to proceed on further, further with already known concepts. So you don't have to struggle anymore is the whole point. But in the same time, a further challenge is what has to be placed in front of oneself so one can grow even further. In another word said, guys, uh, that is just in a preparation for a, a big agenda moving on forward. It is going to be a, a small endeavor at the start, the way I see it, that will allow you to think for something bigger. Okay, so let's say you have a date with this guy and suddenly both of you find out that you know, you like each other, it's, and you like each other very, very much. So why don't you make a relationship? Just for example, you know, or uh, this person asks you to help them with a project of theirs, or comes to help you with a project of yours, and you find out that you are very well, uh, you are cooperating with each other very well, and why don't you open a private business? So it's going to be one thing leading to another, from one thing small to one thing big, one after another. And this is what the last card here points, which is the guidance. Now that is the Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Cups, it does point that at, for the duration of the week, you would rather wanna be a bit grounded with your expectations, you know, and with, uh, with as well your presumptions. Do not presume that is important, and do not concern yourself with what could be, or what should be, or what will be, but focus on what it is right now. Focus on the uh, <clears throat> on the help or that this person is giving to you, or focus on this tempting offer for the time being, and just proceed with it with rather rational actions. Okay, do not try to build up a uh, a fairy towers, if I may express myself that way. But the card also points that uh, are your goals, fantasies, or seeds growing? Well, yet remains to be knowing. It is just you need to see how well you cooperate with the King of Cups that appears here. And from there, together, you can build up a, a solid cumulative uh, agenda that you both can follow and you both are to be successful in it. The accompanied card that is to be the ten of uh, the ten of wands in the formation. It is a, a passive enemies, and these cards are these couple of cards as the ten of uh, wands falls to an enemy to the seven of cups. It does represent the um, how do you say it when you recognize that some the things you were doing until this um, um, up until this time or rather more as a setbacks than uh, something productive and it truly will allow you to to drop off some burdens, some responsibilities and the best thing that you are going to do as well is that as you are focusing yourself on uh, that person King of Cups, you will start pleasing anybody else so that alone is going to open you a lot of room to take care for yourself and to take care for the cumulative agenda as well because like I said it's going to be something that will make your life either all of a sudden or slowly progressing, start worth living again. 
All right, so uh, this was your weekly tarot reading, June 10th to June 16th, 2019. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.